For those who don't know, my name is Leonard Charles IV. A lot of people just know me as Leo, one of the co-founders of the Forever Focus group. Uh, we're working here in conjunction with the Lions Zen, Winter Circle, Pay to Live, New Horizon. There's a lot, there's a lot of teams up and coming right now, and a lot of new people coming out doing really, really big things. Very, very proud of everything that we have accomplished and everything that we are doing here at Epic. Uh, what we're gonna go over here today is just the very, very basics of how to start and how to how to invite for your network marketing business, okay? Because a lot of what we do here, a lot of people think you have to become a master salesman. A lot of people think you have to become a master explainer, right? That's not what you have to do. All you have to do is learn how to invite people to watch your presentations, okay? To hop onto our live Zoom calls, even to watch our YouTube video explanations. All you are doing is mastering inviting. If you master inviting, you can master this business. You can duplicate that down to your team. Everyone can learn to become a master inviter. And that is all you need to know to be extremely successful is to just have a team of a thousand inviters. Okay. It's that ambassador 20, a thousand inviters. Let's go. So what we're going to do, we're going to break it down. So the first thing you want to do when you're hopping in to master and learn how <laughs> to learn how to invite is you need to have a list of people to call, a list of people to reach out to, right? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find and put all your prospects, all your potential people who may come in here to become partners with you in your epic journey to learn this skill of force. You wanna put every single one of those guys down on a written list. Now, it is very important that you write that list down, okay? Write that list down. You have it in your cell phone. We all have that contact list. You may look through that contact list and assume that I'm just gonna go through my contact list and look and just click on it and call people. I can tell you it doesn't work that way. Don't know why, but when, when, it, when you don't have a list written down, you are way less likely to actually pick up that phone and dial, okay? R writing down that list Checking off the people you've called, writing down next to their name if they didn't pick up, keeping it organized makes it significantly more likely that you are successful when it comes to actually picking up that phone call and dialing, okay? This is a huge part of duplication. Pick up that phone call and dial, okay? Now, when you're making that list, you wanna think about the people that they know as well. So you're not just thinking about the people you know, you're thinking about the people they know, okay? You can qualify people, call them in the order in which you believe that person would do best. So obviously you're gonna call the guy who you think knows the most people first. That being said, I do not want anyone on here to have a lottery mentality, okay? Don't hop on and start making calls assuming, okay? Don't start making calls assuming that you're gonna hit one or two or three guys that are gonna absolutely blow up your business, okay? Because here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna reach out, you're gonna start making phone calls, okay? And you're gonna hit that really, that guy you know knows 200, 300, 400 people. And if that guy says no, it's gonna demoralize you because that was your lottery ticket. I don't believe in lottery tickets. We make our own luck here, okay? It's not about lottery tickets. It's just about going and going and going and going because a lot of the times that you're going to find out is that people you expected to not be successful are the most successful because this whole business is about your personal passion, your personal drive, how much you believe in what we're doing. And that person, you may not know who that person is right away, okay? So the main thing is just put them on the list and start dialing not having that lottery mentality, okay? Now, Constantly build that list. As you start checking people off that list, you need to constantly be recycling that more people onto that list. So for example, you start off with a list of 50, you call your first 10, okay? You got some yeses, you got some no's. You need to go out and replace those 10 people. So you need to be networking on purpose. When you go out, you need to be talking to people, meeting people, finding out what they do for a living. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are you, what are you looking for? You never know when someone you're having a conversation with is going to bring up the fact that they are someone who's looking to learn how to invest. There's someone who's looking to learn how to get into the, into the stock market. Someone who's looking about how to get into like, say, options trading, which is something that's really popular all over right now. Okay. Somebody who's going out, oh, maybe interested in real estate. Not necessarily what we're doing, but the same mindset applies, right? That's somebody you're going to want to connect with. Okay. Anybody, man, I don't like my job connect with that person, okay? Go out, network on purpose, connect numbers, connect Facebooks, 
connect Instagrams. Okay, sometimes it's a little weird to go out and ask some random dude your number. It's way less weird to go out and ask that guy for his Facebook or his Instagram. You go out, you connect with him, you message him later, said it was a pleasure talking to you. I would love to connect, connect another time. Build a relationship with that person. Okay, so you can reach to the point where you can go out and introduce them to what we're doing. We're networking on purpose. And at the same time, you're building your personal network, knowing more and more people, which just makes you a more influential person in the first place. Okay, this is something you should naturally be doing anyway, is building your personal network. Because as they say, your network is your net worth. And we all want a big net worth, right? That's what we're here for, right? So make sure you are always networking on purpose. Hold on, let me hit this next slide. Okay, now when you finally start inviting people to what we're doing, there's a specific way in which you're going to want to do it. Okay, first, you're going to want to be in a hurry. Why are you in a hurry? Okay, because you might not have much to do, but you have to be in a hurry when you're on this call. And it's for a very simple reason. You are not there to explain anything. If you tell someone that you want them to get on a Zoom or you need them to hop onto something or you want them to watch a video, they're gonna start asking you questions, okay? You don't have time for that, okay? You, it's not your job to explain it, it's your time to invite, to share with them something so they can take a look at the product, right? So be in a hurry, you're going somewhere. You have to call two or three or four more people all the time. And that's what I do because I like to leave forward with honesty, right? So I just make sure I have so many calls lined up. I don't have time to stay on the phone with one person for very long, okay? So that is how you invite people to what you're doing, okay? But now, tell them you're in a hurry right away. Clear their schedule. Be like, yo, what are you doing in the next hour? You know, what are you doing at 6 o'clock or 9 o'clock? Whatever your time zone is. When the call happens, what are you doing during that time? Clear that schedule. Make sure they're doing nothing before you invite them anywhere. Make sure they've already admitted, already said that they're not doing anything. So they have no reason to back out. Okay. That includes if you're giving them, if you know, if you're giving a YouTube video, if they're busy, move them on to another time. Oh, so you're busy today. What about tomorrow? Same time. What about the next day? Same time. We have our three o'clock calls. What about that time? If they can't make those calls, shoot that YouTube video. Okay. Now, and after that, you two, all, you want to be confident as you're coming forward with it, okay? So once you clear the schedule, you want to be as confident as you possibly can as you're doing it. Let them know that what you're showing them, you truly believe is important and you're confident and you've bought into what it is. And the moment you've sent that to them, okay? The moment you've actually sent them, you know, hopped them onto the link or you've sent them the video based on whatever their schedule is, you need to schedule a follow-up with them uh, right after that a point right after the call they're hopping on or right after they watch that YouTube video. So if you say, listen, I want you to hop on this Zoom after I'm going to give you a call. Okay. And we can catch up after that call. Okay. Or, okay. So can you watch this YouTube video since you can't pop, hop on any of the calls? Cool. Well, can you finish it in tw the next 20 minutes? Cool. I'm going to give you a call right after. Okay. So you're always going to schedule a call afterwards to try and go in for that close. Right, guys? Now, this all relies on you being as confident as you possibly can, okay? Everything relies on your confidence in what we are doing. So let me ask you this question. If you are confident in the product, if you are confident in what we're doing, if you're confident in what we're delivering to people, if you have understand the value of what we're doing, can you please drop a one in the chat real quick? Can you please drop a one in the chat real quick? I want to see some ones in that chat. There we go. So I like to see ones everywhere. Ones everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Because what we have is phenomenal. If you guys have just looked at the last two days when it comes to just our Forex pairs alone, our Forex pairs have been destroying it. Okay. The last two days, we've just caught an insane amount of pips just on our forex pairs. I absolutely love it. Okay. I'm loving how we're consistently growing and where we're headed. And I'm totally bought into what we're doing because of that, because I believe in what we're doing. So when I call you and I'm calling someone, telling them they need to hop on this YouTube call, uh, this YouTube video, they need to hop on this Zoom. My confidence shines through. They can tell my confidence because I am confident. Okay. I'm not selling. I'm not selling anything to anybody, right? I'm offering you an opportunity and that needs to come through. You need to let them know I'm the one offering you something that can change your life, not the other way around, okay? I don't need you. I can make money with just the trade alerts. I don't need you, but I'm inviting you in because I'm offering you an opportunity and you need to have that mindset. You're the one offering, 
Okay, you're offering them something. If they say no, that they, they're the ones losing out. You got to have that mindset when you go forward and what you're doing. Okay, guys. Now, so here's a script, very very basic script that we use to lock people in. Okay, real simple. You pick up that phone. I'm calling Bob. Hey, what's up, Bob? How you doing? Hey, what are you doing tonight at six o'clock, bro? Okay, awesome. Uh, I want to show you something uh, that I'm launching. So I'm going to send you a link. And right after, I'm going to give you a call. We can catch up. But here's the link, man. Okay. Hey, let me know when you've registered for it. I look forward to talking to you afterwards. Yeah, I can't really talk right now. I actually have to call like five more people. But before like before this link like starts, but please do hop on. I'm going to call you right after we can catch up. I enjoy talking to you, man. I, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, cool. Perfect, man. Peace. See you later. That's it. That's it. If that person starts asking you questions, say, listen, hey, man, I understand you have questions, but I actually have to call five more people before it even starts. You know, I, I, I will hit up. I will call you right after the call. And, 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 you know, I'm super excited for you, man. Please hop on. That's it. Okay. Make sure, give them the link. That's literally it. That's all you guys have to do. Okay. It's a very, very simple process, a very, very simple script. You're just inviting people on. Okay. This same thing works if you're dealing with somebody on Facebook or Instagram. You go, hey, man, what are you doing at this time? They let you know. Say, Paul, awesome. I want to show you what I'm launching. I want to send you a link. Just catch up with me right after it's over and, and, you know, and, and tell me what you think. And if they start talking to you, asking you questions, be like, hey, I don't really have time to fully get into it right now. I have to actually reach out to a couple more people. Please hop on, like, just hop on that link. It'll explain everything. It's a quick call. And I, I promise you it's going to be something you're interested in. That's it. Do that same thing on Facebook. It works. Okay. So that is, that's all you have to do. You hop people on these calls, especially if they're free, you lock them in. If they don't fit any of the calls that we have, you can then move them to the YouTube video, but try to get them on these calls first. It is this script works for both Facebook works for Instagram, works for LinkedIn, works for, it works on text message. It works when you call somebody. Okay. So use this script is tried and true. I've used it multiple times to build out my business and multiple different opportunities. This works. Now, when you follow up with someone, so when this is done, when, once they've watched the, the live or they've hopped on and watched that YouTube, you need to follow up with that person. You need to ask that person some questions to lead into closing that person or finding out what may or may not be holding them back from hopping on board with our opportunity. Because what we understand, okay, because everyone who's on this call should have already hopped in, right? So what we understand is that what we're doing here in Epic is life-changing in and of itself, right? Like th there's no reason to not want to hop in with what we're doing. We understand that. So we need to find out why somebody else maybe hasn't caught that same vision. So one of my favorite, not one of my single favorite opening line when doing a, when doing a follow-up is what did you like best? And it's real simple. It leaves absolutely zero room for you to tell me something you didn't like. Okay. I ain't got time for what you don't like. Okay. Because there's going to be something you like in what we do. Okay. Either it's the time freedom of the trade alerts. It could be learning how to trade. It could be building. It could be building a network. Okay. There, there, there could be multiple things that we have. But if this person is in any way, shape, or form interested in financial freedom, learning to make money, okay, entrepreneurship in any way, we got something for you. Okay. So what did you like best? You find out what they like best and you just let them talk about what they like best. You let them talk about it. Let them sell themselves on how that one thing they like best could change their life. Ask them how that could affect them in their life, how that could affect their day to day, and really let them sell themselves on what we're doing. Okay. Again, find out. Yeah, man. What are your goals? What are you driving for for the future? How, how could this possibly help you achieve your future goals and dreams and plans? Have them start thinking about that. Could it? For most people, yes. It could very well help affect pushing you, them toward whatever the future, the goals or plans they have. Because at the end of the day, while your plan may not be money, money gives you freedom to achieve whatever other plans you may have, right? So at the end of the day, this is beneficial to pretty much everybody. Another one, on a scale of one to 10, where are you on moving forward? 
Okay, now this is a good way to aim in for that close to find out how close you are. Okay, now I'm not always the biggest fan of this because one to 10 leaves one through five and forget all those numbers, right? I like anything higher than that. <laughs> that being said, okay, if they're not an eight, nine, or 10, if they're eight, nine, or 10, close them right away. If they're eight, nine, or 10, close them right there. Okay, but if they're not an eight, nine, or 10, ask them why. Because listen, there's no reason to not be really high on this list when it comes to the products that we have. So if they're not an eight, nine, or 10, it means they have questions. It doesn't mean they're actually a five or they're actually a six. They just have questions or they think being skeptical is cool. Okay, that's, that's, all, that's all it is. Because at the end of the day, what I have, we've already all covered, we're already involved, what we have is fire. Okay? Hey, hold on. Okay, so somebody was discouraged with the... Uh, so I see this question right here uh, in the chat. I'm going to actually run back and get back to that. Let me finish this slide and I, and I will I will cover your question. That's a very good question. OK, now. Um, again, so be respectful when, when you're when you're talking to someone, when you find out whatever their questions are, you want to be respectful. You want to show empathy with that person. You want to help. You want to understand like kind of where they're coming from, because at the end of the day, if someone is have, does have questions it, it most of the time it comes from a genuine place right so so be respectful of that have empathy for that okay everyone doesn't start off where we start off so you got to meet them where they're where they are and kind of help build them up right so one of the great way to get over any of these objections is feel felt found so um i feel you i understand but i and i felt the same way but what i found out is this and just for example right here in this in this call um I have the question, I have five people invited for the op call. They love the business, but discouraged with the monthly fee. They thought it's only one time membership. Okay, I understand that. Listen, it, it's, if you don't fully understand the, the value of what we're doing, I, I get how you know paying a monthly fee for anything can be frightening for somebody. But there's, there's and I, I, I fully understand that and I felt that same way, right? I felt that same way. But what I found out is simply by using the trade alerts consistently, and throughout the month, I make sure that I'm able to take those alerts. I've actually made more money every single month personally than my subscription has ever cost. In my first month alone, I made $1,000 and that was actually enough to cover my subscription for 10 months. So I, I just found that it was really worth it for me to be able to lock in because of what it offers with the trailers and also just that education as well. And I just covered your, that that would have been how I rebuttaled to, to those guys right there. So I just, that's how I would have actually came in. I'd be like, I feel you, I understand. I felt that same way, paying a monthly fee can be scary. And then move into how to get past that. Because if you take our trade alerts, if you did a, a, a 50 cent lot size on the Forex pairs alone, okay? So say you only have 300 bucks in your account, you're not taking indices, Forex pairs alone, you hit everyone 50 cent lot size, you would have made more than your monthly fee in the last two days. Okay. Again, if you're not using the product, you should be using the product, but that's, that's for a whole nother call, but you should, you should be using the product. If you're not using the product, that's a problem. Okay. So, um, again, another thing to break down to explain to these guys is if you want to learn something and that if you want to learn a skill set like what we're offering, you, you, you pay for it guys, Harvard business school teaches Forex. But it's only, I think, a three or four month class set and it's three thousand something dollars. So listen, um, I'm gonna come to Epic because that's like multiple years in Epic versus a couple months. I understand it's Harvard, but still, okay, you, you're gonna want that consistent support, and that's what we have. Okay. You're 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 <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for the idea. You're welcome. Um, so you have a lot of support here. With what you're doing and so when you're coming in to learn something you got to pay for it okay you also got to recognize when you recognize the value of what we're doing you start recognizing that it's a hundred percent worth it it is a hundred percent worth it okay the building could disappear tomorrow i'd still be paying for this product that's how good we have it here so when you're sharing this with people you need to understand that as well what you have is so good that you're offering them opportunity not the other way around okay again if there are more objections or you can't seem to do, if there's more objections than just like one or two and they're not in that eight, nine, 10 range, you can't close them right away, immediately move to a three-way call. So what is a three-way call? Well, for the three-way call, what you wanna do is you wanna peak the interest 
Oh, well, actually, let's take a step back. This is the peak to inv interest to invite them. That's the part we already went over. Share the home event, opportunity, or call the video. We've already done that. We've already covered that. Next, the three-way call. Hey, listen, I understand you so you're talking to the person on the phone. Listen, I understand you still have some questions. I get you. Um, but instead of me answering it, let me actually connect you to my friend, Leo. Uh, he's been in this a lot longer than me. He sees some solid advice, and he's somebody I respect a lot. I think he'll be able to answer your questions a lot better than I can and literally just bring those calls together. Okay, bring those calls together. I still three-way call. I've been doing this for forever. I could probably close anybody, but I still three-way because there's a magic. There's a magic about a third person on that line. There's a magic about someone else on the call. If I'm reaching out to a, a cousin or family member who's known me since I was 12, who's known me since I was like a little, a little kid jumping around, you know, playing karate, Power Rangers outside, whatever it is, right? That person, no matter how good and skilled you've become in business, how successful, they may still have a little bit of an issue deferring to you as an expert. That three-way call is a great tool to bring in an expert. And it's also just a great way to vilify what you're doing, right? So when you do do a three-way call, you need to edify you need to edify the person you're speaking you're, that you're bringing on that call, okay? Because you want to leverage their story. Edification builds trust. You're a connector with that person. So you need to bridge that gap. That person needs to come on and not be a pure stranger. That person needs to come on and be someone that that person understands that they can trust and respect, right? And you don't want to just talk about business and their accomplishments in Epic, but you want to talk about that person as a person, as a human being, not just as, a, oh, this guy can sign up hell people. And no, what about him as a human being is, is admirable, okay? For them, like he or she genuinely cares about people. Um, and, and, and also you wanna edify the prospect as well. So the person you're bringing them on to talk to, you wanna talk about how that person is a good person to help their ego. Also help the person you're bringing on for that three-way call, understand that this person's important. Make sure they're in that right mindset. Okay. Again, facts tell, but stories sell. So don't just spew facts, tell a story about how it's affected you personally. And on average, it takes four to six exposure exposures for the average person to join. So do not get discouraged if someone doesn't join right away. That's fine. A lot of people go, I got to think about it. You let them think about it over the you know next one, two weeks, you drop a, uh, a Forex video here. You drop a YouTube video on education here. Uh, here's the, hey, take a look at the Candlestick Bible. Yo, read trading in the zone. You just drop them knowledge. Let them know you're here to help them. And at some point, they end up locking in, right? Um, I just, before I go to the next slide, I want to go back to a don't just talk about their business accomplishments, but as that person, as a human being. So for example, I myself, uh, as some of you guys may know, I'm also a first grade teacher. I don't do it for the money. Nobody teaches first grade for the money. They do it because they love kids because they love people, okay? And everyone knows that people don't teach for money. And if I got into teaching as a career, money wasn't my first thought process. So when I come to you offering you something like this, that's a great way to edify me because it brings me out as being, you know, not just about, I'm not just here for the dollar signs, I'm here to really help people, which is why I'm involved in this business. I could learn to trade for myself. I do this to help as many of my friends as possible. I started building this business because I chose, I decided I wanted to share this with a multitude of my friends. And that, that's, that's what it is. That's what it's all about. Okay. Now, the next one, leverage a launch list and an active candidate list. So when you're doing what you're doing, you want to have a launch list. Okay, so you have your active candidate list. That's your list of, say, 50 to 100 people that you know you need to call and get invited to actually see what we're doing. But you also have to, ha you should also have a launch list. Now, a launch list is a separate list of people who have given you those five to sevens who aren't ready to lock in right now, but say they might want to lock in in the future. Those are those people that need that four to six, you know, exposures who you're, you're, you're giving information to. You're going to write their name on a launch list and you're going to give them a date. Be like, listen, I understand. I understand. But what we're, I understand you can't sign up right now. I understand you got to wait for your next paycheck, whatever it is. Here's what I'm doing. I'm doing a big launch for my business on X date on January 1st. Okay. I'm doing a big launch for my business. On that date, I'm going to actually be signing up a bunch of people at one time. What I want to do is I'm going to put you on that launch list. So when 
that day comes, you can lock in and possibly, I can't promise, but there's a possibility you might get one or two guys to spill over to help you start off in your business. Okay. So if you're consistently going out making these calls, everyone who gives you a not right now or a maybe is on that launch list to give 10 people. Say that day comes, five of them sign up. It's not all of them, five of them sign up. Okay. Well, you put them in, even if you have to break even with your three, at least two of those people are getting an extra person. Okay. Say you've already broken even. You have those five, you put them all straight down and now you're helping everybody out to create momentum. Right? So you want to leverage that launch list as well. You want to leverage the fact that you have a list and that, yo, hey man, if you hop on this launch list, you see these guys, I've already have five people on it. You could end up having a possibility of having people on your team as well. You want to hop in with this. And that's how you create, that's how you create urgency without being pushy. Right, because nobody likes being push sold anything. So that's a great way to create urgency without being pushy. Okay, you want to be confident in that process as well. You want to be confident in what we're doing. Okay, like I said, it creates a day for them to join without selling anything. People want to join a launch when they can get a good position if they think they might if they might be able to get some people on their team immediately. It also helps you build deep because, like I said. Uh, on launches, I like to try and put as many people under each other straight down as possible, which helps build momentum. Um, if someone does leave or quit the business, which will happen, right? Some people just don't get it. They just don't get it. Or someone doesn't follow instructions. They, they, they do something wrong. They lose a little bit of money and they freak out. They don't break even their first month. Some people, they quit, okay? I think it's the wrong decision personally, but it's going to happen. It's a great way to recycle that person out and put someone else in. Right. So you have someone say that person quits, but because you were launching, they have four or five people under them. You have a friend who wants to come in who's dedicated, wants to do it. And you see that driving them off from that spot. Take that spot of the guy who quit and put the new person in there. OK, now he's starting off with a little bit of a head start. OK, giving him some momentum. OK, so it also creates engagement. OK, those guys on that launch list, maybe get them on a call, talk about force, create some engagement with these guys, okay? Keep that momentum high, keep it moving. And again, don't make false promises. So don't go out and be like, listen, I'm doing this launch list. I'm gonna have 100 people. I can guarantee you're gonna have at least 20 people on your team. Don't do that, okay? Do not do that. Now, I have had some phenomenal launches in the past, okay? I've had a launch where we signed up over 200 some people one day. The launch was about a month long and then one day we signed like 200 people. I had another launch where we just signed up 40 and I had another launch where we signed up like 10, okay? Each launch is different. So don't promise and make false promises to, for people, especially if you're brand new. This is a skill set that takes time, right? So I don't want you to think because an like someone who's been doing it for a while has a launch and drops 40 people. This is something that takes time that goes slowly over time, right guys? So understand this is a skill set that you will be mastering. Okay, now once someone does hop in and does join up with our business, you want to onboard them, onboard them properly. You want to add them to the Facebook group, the Telegram chats, onlinemarketingpro.co, show them the weekly schedule, get them to an onboarding call, okay? When someone signs up, it's your duty, your obligation, and responsibility, thank you, Ali, for them to come on board, okay? And for you to give them every tool necessary to be successful, the same tools you got, okay? That is your main job as a leader is to make sure they are on board and have all the tools necessary to be successful in what we're doing. Because if they if they fall off because they weren't onboarded, that's on you, okay? Now, again, stay connected with them and cultivate the relationship. Leadership, okay? Communication. Communication is the number one factor to keeping your team together. Making sure everyone is learning and growing as a team getting them on these calls as a team, making sure they're taking part in what we're doing as a team. That's number one, okay? Now, you wanna send a little information at a time as well, okay? You don't wanna overload somebody, get them on that morning call, make sure they start the two week syllabus, make sure they're starting reading that candlestick Bible, make sure they're listening to Trading in the Zone on YouTube. It's way easier than reading it. Uh, and again, guys, schedule a game plan meeting. Okay, you wanna schedule a game plan meeting with that person when they sign up, find out what their particular goals are. If they're a trader, make sure they're locked into everything they need to be the most successful trader ever of all time. And if they're trying to be a builder, make sure they started reading GoPro. Make sure they started reading Building an Empire. Make sure they've gone out and they've, they've started educating themselves on how to build and also hopping into all of our builder calls. 
and mastering the art of building. Because if you aren't going pro and you aren't mastering the art of building, if you aren't going out there and actually educating yourself on the skills and tools and philosophies behind building a business, you're, you're part-timing it, right? So make sure you go pro and make sure they're also going pro, okay? Because if you're, say for example, you have a job and you're not able to put in full-time work, mentally, you need to lock in with all the tools to put that full-time effort on a part-time you know, amount of time, right? So you go out, educate yourself, read those books, lock into these calls, okay? Again, uh, get them involved in our trainings if they are interested again, and on the building side, get them involved in all of our trainings. If they said they are here, they're here to build a business, they need to be on these calls. They need to be learning how to do this, okay? It's that simple. Uh, again, this next one, fear, false evidence appearing real, okay? As, as uh, I believe it was Will Smith who said it in that movie, danger is real, but fear is an illusion, right? Fear is just something you feel. There's no real danger going out and sharing this opportunity with somebody. What, they say no? Boo-hoo. People are afraid of no's. We are, we are raised from children to fear no's, okay? We're, we're, we're raised to fear them, but they're, they're, it's not something we should actually be afraid of. It's not something we should actually be worried about, okay? Go out. And ignore that fear and overcome, overcome that emotion, guys. Success and growth happens in those awkward, uncomfortable places. Nothing grows when you're comfortable. You need to get used to being uncomfortable. How many of you guys have ever felt afraid to call somebody on a phone? To, 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 to call somebody? Or who here has ever been afraid to invite somebody because they were afraid what they're going to think? Put a one in the chat. I'm just going to raise my hand because that happens to me all the time. Put a one in the chat if you've ever been afraid. Oh, ain't nobody. No, it's just me. I'm gonna be the only. Okay, thank you. I thought y'all gonna leave me out here with my hand up. Like I was the only one who's ever been afraid to call somebody. I know I'm not the only one. Don't do that to me. Really make me feel like I'm just the. Come on, y'all. <laughs> okay, that's more like it. Some honesty, guys. I've been afraid. Okay, I've been, I've been, I've been afraid to pick up the phone. I've already made money in past companies. And when I first started sharing this company, there was a little nerve of fear. Okay, fear is a thing. You want to know what's scary? Hopping on these calls. Okay, Hopped on, hopping on these calls freaks me out every time. I got the calls like, hey, Leo, not just so you're going to do the uh, blueprint, but you're also going to have to cover all the way through the end of the boiler room. I was like, oh, no, I've never done a boiler room. I felt that. And then I thought to myself, like, why are you freaking out? Go out there and do your thing. And I came on here and, I, and obviously I seem to be doing fine. I hope so. If I'm doing five, if I'm doing okay, put a one in the chat. If y'all put a two, I'm going to be mad. Don't do it. Better I'll be ones. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? So, guys, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. Even I have fear. You, you may not be able to tell because right now I, I'm, you, can, you can see the energy, but I'm telling you, there's a two, and it's a friend of mine. My friend put a two. You're okay. All right, Andrew. Listen, I, I, I understand. I, even I feel fear. Okay, and that's my whole point, guys. Is even when I hop on here, I feel that I feel that fear every single time. Okay, every single time. But I just have to overcome it, and I've gotten real good at being uncomfortable. So most of the time, you guys can't even tell when I'm nervous. Thank you very much, you guys. Do you guys in the chat? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Anon. Thank you. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, okay, we're gonna pick up that phone and we are gonna start dialing, okay? We're gonna pick up that phone, we're gonna start dialing. And here, here's what we're gonna do. The first person to pick up that phone, start dialing, get somebody on the call, okay? And invite them. Just get that, the first one to get an invite. I'm gonna actually let you guys, you're gonna put up your hand, and I'm going to actually hop you and let you up here on the screen. And I just want you to tell people how that made you feel. That first person who says yes. Okay. So I want everyone to right now, I'm going to, I'm going to play some music. Okay. I'm going to play some music. We're going to, uh, we're going to start picking up that phone. We're going to start making phone calls. Okay. Pick up that phone, start making phone calls. I just noticed I'm playing the music in my phone. I'm not going to get a nice phone call. Okay, do it, guys. Let's get going. Let's get going. And while people start dialing and while you guys are making these phone calls, 
if anyone has any questions as well about what we've been talking about today, put it in the chat and I will answer. <laughs> All right, if you're in the UK and it's 1.15 in the morning, you have a pass. If you're sick, I feel it, Irvin. Go on Facebook. I'm sure we have Facebook. I'm actually playing the music from my phone because it's not working on my computer. So I'm going to be on here going on Facebook messaging people. And here's what I'm going to do as well. There's that list back script so you can read it. I'm going to Facebook invite because I have the music. If you can't speak for some reason, send out those Facebook messages. If you're in the UK, are you talking to anybody who's not in the UK? Are you talking to anybody who's in the US? Anyone in different time zone? Reach out to those people right now. Let's get it done. That YouTube video. Oh, it is in the Epic app. If you have the Epic app, download the Epic app. In the back, it will show you the Epic YouTube video that you can send to people. So, I guess I'm the first one to get someone invited in. But I'm already on the screen. I need somebody else. Come on, we got one more minute. Let's go. Oh. That's that time frame. Tell me to let Oh, you have three so far? Chandra, you're supposed to tell me. You're supposed to tell me. Chandra, do you want to come out here and speak to the class? Do you want to come out here and tell everybody how it's done? Do you want to hop on? I'll upgrade you to panelists right now. All right, all right, all right. I'm an upgrade to panelists. Welcome. Sandra Taylor. You are a panelist. Are you about to be in a second? What's up, what's up? Hold on, let me allow you to open up your uh, your video. Okay, you can start your video now. Feel free to say what's up to everybody. We're doing good, we're doing good. You got in your three. How'd you do it? I actually called two people I hadn't talked to in a while, and I used the script. I was just, how you doing? Oh, yeah. How's Florida? I know you just moved down there with your son. And then she was, after what she was doing around nine o'clock, she was like, oh, no. I'm like, I'm about to launch this business, and I want you to take a look at it and tell me what you think about it. She's like, oh, okay, I'll do that. And I said, I'll get in contact with you right after. She was like, all right. That is exactly what you are supposed to do. Y'all, do you understand? She literally just followed the script and she got three people on. Y'all see what we're talking about? This that was beautiful. Thank you very that's exactly what we need to be doing. That was that was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who brought you into the business? How, how long have you been involved? Um, I signed up doing the pre-launch and I've just started marketing. Okay, well listen, you know what? You started and you start right. You start in the right way, and I love I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Thank you very, very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I'm glad I was able to have you hop on and talk to the team. All right, everybody. So what we're going to do is actually it is, it is 530. So I'm actually going to let you guys go. Uh, and that, guys, good luck. Let's keep it going. Let's keep working. Let's keep marketing. Get like Chandra and go out there and put in the work that needs to be done. Okay, guys. I'll see you next time. See you guys in 30 minutes on the opportunity call. Stay focused right here. See ya.